well, I don't remember which one of us came first. Well, that's like asking which came first, the chicken or the egg, egg salad. salad. <laughs> you see what you did there? Yeah. I finished your sentence. sentence. Sometimes it's like we're in stereo. stereo. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> When you've been friends as long as we have. You tend to lose yourself just a little bit. Some people actually think we're twins. Thank, Thank you. you. But you're not. We need help. This is Dan Dunkelman. Here's what the girls would call a catch. I, however, am what the girls would call a sucker fish. So I see aside Dan's life to find out what made him so cool, right? Some people would call this stalking. I refer to it as good investigative reporting. I found out that Dan was simply trying to be like Tim the Twerker and Tone. So I looked into Tim's life, and guess what I found out? Tim was trying to be like Mark Rutherford. I looked into Mark Rutherford, and guess who he was trying to be like? Moi. Do you see this crazy circle of life I'm living in? Nobody is being who they were created to be. It's insanity. On the flip side, it seems that the coolest guy in school was invariably trying to be like me. <laughs> Who's the sucker fish now? I have a total great sense of self. That's a lie. I don't even know my own social security number. I do. It's 15. I tell you this though, I know who I am. Another life. Woke up in the middle of the night, looked in the mirror, screamed like a girl because I thought I was being robbed. But I tell you this, I'm not into image. What? Well, well, that's a lie. This whole thing right here, this whole pony show, I stole it from Burt Reynolds. This right here, not even my real hair. Yep, bald as a bat. How you like me now? No, seriously, how do you like me now? I'm a dad. Um, <laughs> I won't bore you with the pictures, but, uh, I've been thinking about that question, you know, uh, who am I? And, um, I don't know. Yeah, I can't really answer it. <laughs> it's kind of sad, huh? My dad, when I was a kid, um, he always wanted me to play sports and, I have two left feet, you know, but I tried. I really did. And, uh, there's, there's nothing more unsettling for a kid than to look out on the stands and see a, uh, disappointed dad. I guess I just wouldn't want he wanted. But then I, uh, I figured it out. I have a heavenly father who... He can't be disappointed in me. He made me the way I am. He gave me two left feet. So I guess he just didn't want me to play sports or dance. We know who we are. We are those people in your schools, your neighborhood, your jobs, even social media that's going to put you in your place. That's right. It's got a lot further than just wanting your lunch money. We control your fears. We're like a virus that you can't run away from. <laughs> we own you. <laughs> Some would say that you uh, tear down others because you have such a low image of yourself. And uh, you're, you know, so insecure of being who God made you to be that it's easy to pick on the weak. You need to stop it. Well, in, in reality... Some would say that you are the weak ones. You choose to stop. You know, hurt people tend to hurt people. It's like you. It's like you're reading my mail. I need you to leave us alone, all right? You're bullying us now, all right? Just, just pin it off, pin it off. Yeah, this isn't fair. I need a hug. I need a hug right now. There's a story about the 10-foot wall of life, and some people just seem to jump over it so effortlessly. Whether it's their money, their reputation, their looks, they just seem to jump right over it. Not me. I've had to climb that wall brick by brick, and if I'm to be honest, at some point, 
I just stopped climbing. I just relented just to sit at the wall and make fun of people that would climb or just jump over it. So when you ask me the question, who do I think I am? I'm nothing. I've been nothing for a really long time. And I've told myself that for so long. I really believe it. 